Today I have the pleasure of speaking with George Glazier of Western Uranium. How are you today, George? Good. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Now, uranium seems to be making a turnaround with Trump in office. Can you tell us a little bit about the uranium market and where you think it's headed here in 2017? Well, interesting enough, if you follow on the, the commodity price, since the middle of December, we've come up from below 18 to, I see today, it's a little over $26. It's a, quite a recovery in, what, six weeks. I actually had an interview uh, early December and they asked me what I thought the price would do by the end of 2017. I said, maybe it'll be at $25. Well, we've had people tweeting us and calling us about the uranium price. And so for everyone out there at Investor Intel who want to know more about Western Uranium, can you give us a bit of an overview? Well, you, Western is a fairly new company founded about two years ago, went public oh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, second largest resource holder in the United States uh, behind Energy Fuels, which is a company that I formed back in 2006. Uh, so it's a company that's prepared to go into production very quickly with uh, permitted mines and with our new ablation technology. I called one of our analysts in London earlier today and he was saying you have as much vanadium as you have uranium. And we love vanadium at Investor Intel. Can you tell us a little bit more about your actual resource? Well, the resource in, in typically in these mines, you got six to eight times of the vanadium content as uranium. So if you've got five pounds of uranium, you've got 30 pounds of vanadium per ton of rock. And we were doing some research. There was a ruling recently about a technology you have. I'm, could you start by telling us a little bit more about this ablation technology? It seemed very intriguing to me. Well, it's a fairly simple concept. It's a patented technology. Uh, that basically reduces the cost, the overall cost of producing uranium and vanadium in that case, or any mineral that coats a sand grain, secondary mineral deposits. So it's a pretty simple process uh, to remove the coating from the sand grain, and that's what it does with uranium vanadium. We have a number of companies that we follow that we've seen their stock escalate dramatically because they were tied into a technology. Is this a technology that you can license to other companies? Yes, that's right. We could do that. We've had a number of companies contact us and we've tested ore from a number of companies. So absolutely, it could be used in a number of companies. So what kind of companies would come to you? I'm taking obviously uranium, vanadium, anything else? Well, that's the only ones we've talked to. You know, it has been tested on some zinc from Mexico, uh, but obviously it works so well on uranium, vanadium, those are the ones that are primarily interested. And because you need to get your production costs down. Without $100 uranium, a lot of these projects don't make sense unless they use a new technology. Of course, there, w there was a hearing. There's been some challenges with this particular technology. Can you give us an update on this? Well, it w really wasn't a challenge. What it was is we contend this is a mining technology and should be licensed by the, uh, the authorities that license mines in the U.S., okay? But we went through with the Colorado Department of Public Health uh, that licenses uranium mills. And of course, they do it under the, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission rules. And they determined uh, after a, a short review process that they thought we needed a mill license. So of course, uh, you've recently uh, closed a couple of rounds of private placements. What should we as shareholders and interested parties anticipate in the next couple of quarters? Well, I think one of the things that, you know, we're going to move to comply with that. You know, we do have a mill license we're tying this to, so we can move forward with the ablation. I think we're going to, depending on the price of uranium, decide when we're going to open the Sunday Mine Complex, which was fully permitted, licensed, ready to go. Well, George, thank you so much for joining us today. And for everyone in Investor Intel, if you have any more questions about Western uranium, send us an email at info at Investor Intel. Thank you.